Hello and welcome to the Optima H180X projector. Um, today I'm going to show you uh, around the projector, show you the different ports on it and just to help give you my review on it. So here's the Optima 180X, H180X projector. Uh, it's quite compact, it's quite nice. There's the front, you've got the vent just there uh, where the fan blows out a quite a lot of heat. Um, then you've got the, what I think is, presume is the uh, the infrared bulb for the 3D projector, uh, for the 3D glasses. Uh, this can do 3D as well. Uh, you've got the on button, the on and off button up here at the top. And you've also got a zoom just there. Um, and you can focus it by turning this little wheel on the front and on the back I should show you that there is the power slot there is a HDMI port if it will focus there we go there's a HDMI port, there's a VGA SCART cable there's an S-Video and a regular uh, I don't know what you call that uh, yellow video <laughs> Uh, then you've got the VGA out, you've got the audio in and the audio out as well. Um, but yeah, you've got on the bottom, you've got the panel to take the bulb out. Uh, you just undo the screw there, then you take the cover off and then you unscrew the bulb on the inside. Take the bulb out and then put in a new one if you need to. Uh, you've got these little uh, knobbly bits which you can bring up and so you can level it right um, you can connect it to a ceiling mount if you need to and uh, yeah that is the projector I will plug it in turn it on and show you show you what the picture looks like on that up there my big cinema screen okay so here we have it plugged in uh, as you can see there's the bulb just in there and then you've got obviously the light panel at the front um, and yeah you can feel it and there's quite a lot of heat that comes out the front so you don't really want to cover that area up um, and then there it is on the on the screen ignore the adverts uh, but yeah it's it's relatively quiet running uh, it's only because at the moment I've got it on high altitude mode which puts the, another, the fan on even more um, I will just turn that off a second uh, I've got to change it with the menu just here. Uh, the menu is quite easy to get around. So now I'm going to go to options and then turn high altitude. Oh, it is off. So that's how it sounds at the moment. I don't know if you can hear that. And then this high altitude on. So yeah, that does. that is quite a lot louder. Um, but it also lets out a lot more heat so that you, it doesn't burn the bulb out so quickly. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really good projector. Um, and I got the, it's a 3D one. I will turn the 3D on a second so that you can actually see the 3D image. Uh, I will have to go to a 3D channel. Uh, right, just change it to a 3D channel. There you go, so you've got the 3D on effect now. And I will just get the glasses out. Okay, so here's the Optima 3D glasses. Uh, they're quite quite light. They're quite... They... They are rather big on your face. Um, but yeah, they're quite good. Uh, you've got the on button down here. You can see it's just there. If it'll focus. Just there, you've got the on button. Uh, but yeah, these are really quite good. It's a ZD301 DLP Link 3D glasses. You get this nice little uh, Optima carry case to put them in. And you also get some uh, a cleaning thing but in the box as well. You also get like the instructions for charging and a warranty card. <laughs> I don't need that. Um, but yeah, you can you plug them in. Uh, just there, there's a little hole there, and you plug them in there, and then they charge. They take about, well, mine take about three hours to charge, like fully. 
but yeah, they're pretty good. If I uh, turn them on, I, you won't be able to see much, but uh, if I turn them on, and then you can see the 3D effect, hopefully. Well, you'll see it clearer. Are they on? Yep, they're on. There you go. Um, but yeah, not very good. Uh, there you go. So that's without. Well, you can't really tell, can you? And then that's with. But yeah, they're not too bad. Uh, the picture stays relatively normal, so it doesn't get like really dark picture or anything like that. So uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Please remember, if you like this video, uh, please comment and like the video and if you enjoy my channel and my videos on my channel then please subscribe thank you for watching goodbye